Hello there everybody, this is Pinstripe Paragon and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we went to the Honey Hive Galaxy. In this episode, we are going to be falling off things. No. No. I also promised in the last episode that we would be heading over here to where the toads are. Let's talk to this guy as he seems to have mail. Mr. Mario! Check it out! I'm a mail toad and I have a letter for you! Dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place, but I'm alright because you come and rescue me. P.S. I hope the skiff will come in handy. Bitch, bitch, you find one of them. Would you like them now? Yeah, I'll need them. Oh, maybe we're just getting there. The princess is so powerful. Well, come see me next time. It's a mail delivery. Okay, so we got ourselves five lives. Now we have twelve. Let's see what these guys have to say. Welcome to the comments of Victoria. Where are we? I want to go home. I'm so homesick. Ah, uh, I, I know how it feels. What do you have to say? Mario, somehow we missed. We'll help you get the power stars and save Princess Peach. You can count on us, Mario. We're all in this together. Oh, God. In comes the high school musical. So I, so I guess this place is some kind of mobile sta space station controlled by that Rosalina lady. But who exactly is she anyway? She's not a witch. Is she? Is she? No, that's just, that's ridiculous. With a Z, right? <laughs> ah, Michael. <laughs> Clumas are going to build a ship. When it's done, let's go look for Princess Peach and the Power Stars. What kind of starship will it be? Yeah, I can't wait. Anyway, so they're making a starship. And I think it would be called the Enterprise. And I was stuck. It wouldn't let me up. And anyway. Now we are going into the terrace and yet again. Um, hmm. I'm trying to decide which star I should go to. I could do. Eh. Let's see what this galaxy is. Loop de loop galaxy. We'll be heading there eventually. Let's head to Honey Hive again. So that we can do the second mission. Ought to be fun. If my voice gets a little uh, less clear, it's because I'm relaxing. I'm a little sore. I had a baseball game yesterday, so. Eh. What can you do? Sports players get sore sometimes. Man, alright, I'm not gonna bother to get the light this time. I really don't. Yes! I mean, I have 12. I might end the recording session in a couple times. Yeah. Up in the sky, and it, and it contains star bits, so it must be true. We. Oh, that one didn't contain. Oh, it contained a bun. Sprout on the back of the Alright. Let's use it. I thought it might fall off there. Anyway, let's. Then, yes, star bits. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I'm practicing my dive bomb in. Alright. So, now that we're over here, I want to. I just want to get it. I hope we need it eventually. So, I'm not going to get it early. I want to dispose of these targets I actually need because you need a, a lot of strap to get it, really. But, honestly, if. Um, if. If you just get any of any them that you see, you want to be good. Let's just ground pound this. And a bridge appears. Awesome. And now we gotta ground pound this button. And more stairways. Yay, if only we were this easy Minecraft. Anyway, let's see what the sign has to say. Yep, it's me, the famous Guildboard. If you want to climb this wall, you better listen up. When you stick to the watch or a jump, press A to do a wall jump. Use a string of wall jumps to reach really high areas. Okay. And it's that simple, so. Not too bad, but good concept. It, it, I'm pretty sure it was in just about all the 3D Mario games, so. Well, now you know. Anyway, we gotta do wall jumping yet again up here. And something I always wondered with like 3D platformers like this that uh, required 
uh, some, some sort of wall jumping mechanic. Um, another game would be um, Spyro A Hero's Tale, actually. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like that game, but I did. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, that's just me, but oh well. I'm just gonna move around here a little bit. And we What? Oh my god. No! No! What? You're not even supposed to be down here! You're not supposed to be down here in this level. <laughs> Wasn't this just fantastic? Well... What? Oh, no. Oh, uh, uh. On. Well, at least I start here. Uh, now I'm curious as to where that um, launch star goes. So that's a Mandy bug up there. We gotta take care of those dudes. And speed running tactics. Do I have to do something? I guess so. Oh well. So speedrunning tactics do not prevail today. Well, for the most part they did. I got to skip a Mandy bug. So, yeah, those things are Mandy bugs. You have to ground pound on them to take them out. So, not too difficult in my opinion, but... Oh well. We'll just have to see how they handle on the LP, I suppose. Alright, so we're going to be coming up on some star bits here. Yay. Star beats. And okay, mini boss thing, maybe I don't know. Come here. Yeah, oh, I missed. Yay. Oh no, you killed my mini. And now it's going to start raging at us. And yeah, if you do a spin ground pound like while you're in the air, you can basically home attack the enemy with the ground pound. So that's pretty useful against the Mandy Bugs. And we got a star. That was a little off, but I'm just going with the text because I can't really... Um, I can't really do so with the audio, so it's just the text, really. And number six. Yay. In 347. Let's go to the next level. Probably go to... The last one in Honey Hive. Yay! Woohoo! Okay. So, the last one in Honey Hive is Big Bad Bugaboo. Oh, crap, I dropped the nunchuck. <laughs> Alright, so, this level can be annoying at times. Uh, a lot of the Mandy Bugs have appeared. It's not just magical. Alright, now you see those boulders, you can actually take those out. Ah, the whole Mandibug clan has infested our kingdom. Alright, uh, he's still... Oh, he's a, got the teeth. He looks a bit happy, actually, like evil. Ow, I'm on top of you. Yay. Oh, no, no coin? Okay. Yeah, they changed the music up a bit here. Eh, I like the original better. Say that much. Let's see. I, I forget if you have to go over here or not. Like, a lot of the practice run, like, the two practice runs that I did before this game were mainly for the, uh, uh, towards the end of the game. Because I really don't need it for the beginning. It's rather, rather easy. But, oh, well, let's just, uh, this is a secret area, I believe. I don't think it's required. Because, well, there's that. Hmm. Wonder if I can reach that from here. No. <laughs> nope. Not at all. Anyway. Uh, so the way that you can take these rocks out is if you're at the just right position, where you can hit the red mark and then you can take them out that way. Or you use Rainbow Mario to dash through. I prefer the Rainbow Mario way, as it's much, much easier. This is a good level to get Star Bits in. Um, one of the many, actually. 
can get a ton of star bits really easily in this game. Uh, even in the second game, really, because you have to get a ton of star bits. All right, let's just head over here and hide there. Oh, all right. yeah, I'm in a bubble. I'm Bubble Boy from Seinfeld. Yay! If you don't know what I'm talking about? Well, oh well. You won't understand unless you watch that episode. And just okay. I guess we gotta head down here, and we probably don't want to go on to that. that uh, what does that say? That's my be for. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think this is just to get the B power. Right? Yeah, this would make that would make sense. Over here is an M of star bit, so make sure you, well you can get that basically. And okay, we gotta be careful for this. Ton of bubbles. Oh boy, bubble bubble. Glad to call that. Just a, yeah, we're supposed to be. Here. Good. And more Mandy bugs. Okay. Oh, hi, Queen Bee. The neighbors have gotten in trouble again. We would be most grateful of your assistance. God, you just love the word assistance. This ha that has to be the most time I've, I've heard assistance in a E-rated game. Anyway, let's just uh, head over here. And if you didn't have BMRA, which you probably should have, um, there it was. It's probably for when you, if you die, that's where you spawn. So, and we head back up here. And... Done. <laughs> oh god, bug. And, what you gotta do is you gotta, it's basically a giant, um, Mandy bug, basically. You have to spin on, well, ground pound, and I'll do the damage. I'll yeah, uh, it, it, it's a, a decently challenging type, but it's no, like, RPG final boss, you know. It's not an RPG boss at all. In fact, it, it's not that bad. This is the hardest part right here, um, when he's, like, spinning around. Plus, he's also got those things. So, yeah, I don't mind if I didn't get that hit there. And now! Alright, we did it! Yeah, I'm sorry I wasn't talking there for a second. I wanted to take him out, so. Yeah. I do that in games with bosses. And yeah. And. Dun. Dun, dun. Da, 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 da. We got a star! Oh, yeah. So. Now that we've done that, we've completed Honey Hive to the point where we can at this point in the game. So we have our 7th star. Spectacular. And we have over 400 star bits. That's pretty awesome. And we got ourselves that and a hungry Luma has appeared right outside the terrace. Hmm. Alright, so I'm not going to say we're getting quite yet. There's one more level I want to go to, and that's in this block over here. This level it is Flip Switch Galaxy. This is a this is a very short level, so uh, it's not going to take me too long. So I figured I'd just finish it off here. Painting the planet yellow. That's our mission, okay? All right, so we got more of these switches. Not too difficult. So we land here. All right, so I want to start by going over here and then. Just waiting. Come on. Okay. And let's get on this so we can move up. That would be rather nice. And okay. So now we need one more. And okay. We are good. So now we just gotta take care of the rest of this stuff. And let's just do that. Just to disable it for a little bit. And we head back down here. Now this one's going in a square, so it's a little more annoying. But we finished it. And the star is right over there. And that thing just spawned. 
So, let's head over there. The lasers are disabled, and so is he. And we ground pound him, and we get the star. And the, so Super Mario Bros. under 1-1, I believe, in the background there, if you saw it. So, that's cool. I'm not sure what level it is exactly. That's just the first one that comes to mind, of course. So, oh well. And we get star number eight. And we are done with this episode. And we've also unlocked a, yet another galaxy. And as you can see, that galaxy there, which was where we just were, has a gold crown. So there won't be any more stars there. So, yeah. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they are not misusing the power of that poor grand star. And I'm going to go ahead and save my game. And I would like to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the la in the next episode, we will be heading to Loop de Loop Galaxy at least. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.